Hey YouTube, Smart Reviews here. And today we're gonna go and uh, unbox this Orico um, SSD hard drive. It is a USB 3.1 with the Type C connector. And uh, I guess it's supposed to, it's an enclosure for an M SATA. So on the pictures, it, it looked a little bit different, um, you know, from, from what I pictured. But let's just go ahead and unbox it real quick and I can show you. Uh, this is the box it came from. I bought this from Newegg, which is, uh, which was actually cheaper than Amazon. Amazon had this for, I believe, like over $30. Um, and this one was $13. So I have no idea how that price came about. But um, Amazon also uh, ran out, ran out of stock and it's none, none available. Uh, and there was plenty of stock on Newegg. So uh, let's just go ahead and take a look at it. This is the little box here. And this is exactly how it came. Uh, I mean, I took a look at it before, but it really just came like this. There was no stickers. It was just like this. So, all right, that's it. Just put that off to the side over there. Um, this is it right here. Moving that. Wow. It totally <laughs> looks different. Sorry, it totally looks different from the picture. Um, it's nice though. It's very nice. Look at a nice little hard drive. But he, here's the problem that I'm having with you know with the size difference. As you can see, this is, it says M SATA, right? Okay. I'm gonna show you an M SATA. This has an M SATA. M SATA huge difference okay so yeah let's go ahead and take a look a little bit more I'm just gonna go ahead and put this off to the side for now so you can see you know a sticker here as soon as I see this type of sticker I know that it's a generic brand just saying but Hey, if it works, it works. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna complain, especially if it says if it's a you know USB 3.1, which is 10. At this point, uh, what it said was 10 uh, gigabytes per second uh, transfer speed. So as you can see, you have some screws. I'm guessing for the you know, for the bracket. All right, a nice little cable. Perfect. This is what I like. Very small. I don't need a you know three foot cable or you know whatnot one foot cable is perfect size right here so i'm going to go ahead and take it apart because i am going to be using this and there will be another video on the actual review but this is just the unboxing of this i know some of my videos are review or are unboxing and reviews i just because i get a little over excited and this one i'm just going to you know take my time like this so you type c to 3.0 okay yep just verifying that it's 3.0 okay and you got some paperwork here I don't know Chinese okay there it is English well, instead of just looking at this, how about let's just go ahead and uh, open it ourselves. So, sorry for the mess over there. I'm just going to go ahead and throw this off to the side here. The screws, make sure I'll save those. Just put them off to the side right there. Alright, so, oh, one thing is that it did come with this screwdriver, which is actually pretty cool because usually you'll have to get your own stuff. So, let's go ahead and if it's perfectly, I'm going to go ahead and unscrew this. Oh, wow, it's actually on there pretty tight. I'm gonna go ahead and let the screws fall. Well, I have no idea. Is it is it M Seda? 
And just just to let you guys know again. Oh wow, look at that. Just to let you guys know again on on my videos, um, I you I I don't write any scripts for it. I just turn on the camera and we just do unboxing and reviews. That's why you probably hear me mess up a lot when I say things. Why? Because I'm new to this. But I'm excited because I like to show you guys this. So what I'm doing right now is uh, I want to see because I, I don't know why this is bigger than this. Oh, okay. Makes sense. There you go. I thought, you know, because it's wider, I thought it would, you know, the, the hard drive was going to be a little bit wider, but it makes sense now. It looks like it'll fit. I'll take it off. Sweet. Look at that. So this is a 500, uh, 500 gigabyte MSATA Samsung SSD. Oh, come on. I do a horrible job at. There we go. It's a 500 gigabyte. A very fast SSD. 850 Evo. Alright, so glad I was able to show you that. <clears throat> the reason I'm doing this is because I want to show you guys that it will fit. Come on. All right, there we go. And as you remember, as you saw on here, it comes with the screws to feed them through the bottom and then screw them on top. And that way it can hold it down. And uh, like I said, this is a US. I already went ahead and took it apart. Um, and also to include the other hard drive where I had my MSATA drive but um, no worries on that one let's just go ahead and put this together let's go ahead and run that speed test on here and let's see what type of uh, numbers we get up All right, so went ahead and uh, got that all squared away. It's pretty solid. The reason I'm doing a little shake test is because of the old, um, the old M SATA um, enclosure um, would always make a rattling noise if I moved it around. This one, pretty solid. All right, now I'm very excited for this is because I'm a huge fan of of me and everybody else saving money on things that are inexpensive but you know generic brands that beat up to the high-end specs I don't know if I even said that right but um, basically I'm into cheap stuff that works as that, that works as as an expensive item would. That's, I'm a big fan of that. Sorry if I don't know if I'm saying that right, but this is, this is, this is what I'm hoping for. I'm really excited for this. I really am, but we gotta see. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and connect the cable that I came with. Now, what I'm gonna use here is that adapter um, that I have. I have this adapter here, and it, it is a 3.0. Uh, I don't know if you can see from there. Uh, I do want to show you it is very important up oh, there we go let's go ahead and get that zoomed in you see there's those five pins and then you got the pins in the back that's 3.0 this one 
the pins are in the back those five in the back and then you got the four right there so it's 3.0 <clears throat> So let's go ahead, I went ahead and plugged that in. Now you can plug it in either way, you can do it this way or this way. I am going to do it this way. Wow, so the connection is very solid. It feels really good. Cool. Okay, so it did come up on, on here. Let's see if I can go ahead and uh, you know adjust it there. Okay, top right corner, I do have that SSD titled um, 500 M SATA. That's just for me to you know to remember things. Um, so it means it's good. So good. So far, so far, so good. Now I just need to go ahead and select the target drive, which I believe it's already there. It's already there from you know other videos. So I'm gonna just go ahead and again click it just to play it safe and hit open. Now the test will be done on the um, on that drive that I selected, and then gonna go ahead and hit start. Oh yes, yes. Sorry, excited. I'm excited. It works. Why? Because this is something that a lot of people can benefit. Uh, you know, this is very something very sleek. You know, you could just put you know in your pocket. It's very small, so it works great. Uh, but I do want to show you. See if that's blinking. Let's go ahead and adjust. Can you see it blinking? That means because that speed test is running right now on that drive. Can't really pull it forward. Maybe I can angle it. Now you can see. There we go. Means it's running. I get to them quick, but that's any other drive. All right, perfect. And there you have it, folks. 370 megabytes a second uh, read and write, uh, give or take a few. Um, this is all I have for this video. If you have any questions, feel free to to leave any comments down below, and I'll be more than happy to answer them. And I uh, hope this video helps you guys out. Um, again, I'm very uh, excited for this drive. This is going to be my, my heavy hitter moving forward. Uh, again, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one. Later.